There's always a little bit of sanding. What? Are you complaining on, about my glasswork? You know, it's, it's not a joke. <laughs> so this stuff has to be done correctly. And I've got mud on my shoes. And that's not helping, but it's muddy outside. And... Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm leaving these holes as planned. It won't be too much. From experience in my life. <laughs> it will not be a big I problem. Come back without this. Is it getting pretty? Sorry? Is it getting pretty? Not yet. I think it's a little bit more work. Oh, no. You'll get there. Yeah. Hey there! Welcome back to Building Vilda. In this episode we are working on the trampoline, catwalk and forward area which we could probably also call the nightmare area. And that is because there are so many little fiddly bits and pieces that require sanding and spot filling. It's quite tedious and sometimes it feels never ending. You don't have enough right hands? Are you having trouble with the with the seagull striker? Yes, he's giving me a little bit of trouble. But he's trying, getting the measles. I'm trying to beautify the, him. The but blue he's measles. A bit, yeah. He's a little bit too ugly to start with. What? Um, Are you complaining on about my glasswork? No, about the pairing that was <laughs> done here before. Not about the glasswork. The glasswork is okay. I'm hoping not to see too much of the glasswork. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And uh, that blue stuff will, yeah, fix the rest. Yeah. And while Rox is doing that, I'm, uh, yeah, what's it called? Enlarging these uh, the holes we had here for passing chain through. This hole was uh, too low, or, and uh, I'm hoping that it's high enough now. If it isn't, I'll, I'll put a block above here to, to force the chain down from the anchor winch and then out to the channel so I don't dig a hole through here and both of these holes were not particularly well centered and uh, now they're better <laughs> so yeah they're perfect now is what I'm saying personally I would have wanted to cut and uh, those holes all the way up to the hatch. I don't know if the boat needs to have that strength there. I doubt it, but uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm leaving these holes as planned and we go from there. So now I have to fill. I have decord here, so I'll fill there. And while I'm at it, I'll make this guy a little bit prettier. i
A few more successful jobs on on the boat. <laughs> yes. So the fairing on uh, the catwalk is getting really close. Uh, we'll sand this whole area down today. Yesterday I got those holes enlarged for the anchor, and I think they're big enough. If well, if they're not, we'll redirect the chain so so that. Uh, it does fit, because I don't want to take that whole thing off. And in the uh, cockpit, uh, we have um, supports for all our uh, little lids. So, made these fiberglass supports that all of these lids will end up on. And I'll just be able to put a, a gasket here to keep water out. And not going to be waterproof by any means, but close enough. Uh, this place does have a roof, and I don't intend on taking too much water in through through this hole. I'm sure I'll get some water there at some point, but uh, that is to be it won't be too much. To be experienced in real life, <laughs> it will not be a big and problem. Come back with updates to Explain yeah, how yeah, much yeah. water we got in there. Exactly. If I have to build a gutter up there, I'll, I'll build a gutter up here. But uh, not today. Because uh, we're getting ready for paint instead. So no, no gutters, no building, nothing. Unless we have to. So we're working hard on one of the most tricky parts of the boat here. There's so many little details on this front beam, it's ridiculous. Uh, we have all the anchoring and stuff and uh, more anchoring stuff in the middle. And uh, the stays, uh, eagle striker, seagull striker, seagull, sea, eagle, uh, yeah, anyway. The pointy thing in the middle, and then all of these hammock holes and stuff, and all sorts of weird joins, and we're trying to make them look as pretty as possible. And it is not easy. It takes forever because you have to get your fingers into almost impossible places, and yeah, and uh, shape everything. You have to put uh, fairing compound where you can hardly get it. And then you have to sand it off again. And then you find <laughs> there are a few spots And then you that find you new holes that you missed and, and that goes on and on and on. But I think today we will uh, finish fairing here. Hopefully. Fingers yeah. crossed. Fingers crossed. Yes. Enough at least for us to for it to be worth putting paint on and then fixing a few details after. So so today's gonna be a good day. But so today we are left with, with sanding this block here. Oh yeah, that's yeah. yeah. This joint here that we want to make pretty, and this the the holes for Anchor, the for chain, the chain. And, and then some beautifying of the seagull striker. Yeah. And some beautifying of the cuts that you yeah. did yesterday into those. Uh, exactly. Yesterday I got into a job I've been putting off for a while simply because I've been a bit worried about it. It's a very uh, precise job and that is getting all the holes for the, uh, I don't know, uh, toggles and stuff for, for keeping the mast up basically and, and getting them in the right position. So yeah, each of these uh, composite chain plates or whatever you call it have a stainless steel tube with loads and loads of glass around it glued down onto the beam and then uh, the more glass around that construction again gluing it down to the beam so we have 
the fastener for the martingale. On the front here, we have uh, the anchor bridle fastener. And then in the middle, we have uh, the fastener <laughs> for, or the chain plate for the forestay. And you know, it's, it's not a joke, <laughs> so this stuff has to be done correctly. And I've been, yeah, putting it off because I haven't been sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yesterday I finally did this, so. Uh, cut holes in the boat. Yes. In, in big was, structural bits. It was really, really scary. <laughs> yes. But it turned out nice and... Uh, yeah, they look good. Yeah. So now we just have to make, uh, put a piece of, uh, my plan is to put a piece of plastic inside of these uh, stainless steel tubes, mm -hmm. hold through the plastic where the pin goes, and that will lock a toggle in place here. Mm -hmm. Are you pretending to sand? No, I've actually been sanding, but now I realize I don't have gloves. So and, this is not a good And pose no mask it. either. Exactly. It's, not it's a terrible. Good pose don't don't do as we do, do as we say. And uh, always wear all the PPE you should have. Yes, but, but we are generally wearing. The we're generally pretty good. Now I just have to sand these five spots. And I've got mud on my shoes. And that's not helping, but it's muddy outside and it's too cold not to wear shoes. Sorry, too much complaining. Bye bye. <laughs> no, but what Roxana just did was sand down a few spots that we had forgotten about on the middle of the top of the catwalk. And that is the last bit of sanding we do before paint at least. And the whole trampoline area. Yes. One area, another area done. It's a yes, it's been a pretty challenging pain in the area. pain in the behind. Uh, there's there's so many nooks and crannies in uh, in the, the trampoline area. It's, it's insane. Uh, Plus we had two anchor rollers that were two anchor rollers from build. scratch. Holes to take in the chain plates. Uh, the seagull striker has I don't know how many angles or corners, and yeah. We, and before we, we, we mainly painted to protect the area. We didn't do a yeah. lot of fairing. We we no. had the catwalk and the beam, of course, and the seagull striker, but not to a hundred percent. No, no. And now I don't know if it's ninety. Maybe it's at 95, let's say. <laughs> it's, good it's good enough. Tell us. <laughs> the, the paint will uh, tell us how, what it looks like. And, yes. and uh, I think it's going to look great. We're, we're uh, absolutely going to find some uh, holes here and there and some things that could have been better, but it is pretty damn good. And the lower part, we're not doing anything more. It's just too difficult. Uh, not worth it. Um, and then, okay, I don't know who's ever gonna come and check under the catwalk. No, no, it's uh, hardly it something is. that's gonna be annoying for us. It will be annoying when we swim in beautiful water down oh, there, terrible. and then we look up and say, oh, we missed that spot. Yeah. yeah. We love making the videos and sharing with you how it all goes. So, if you enjoy watching them, please comment, give us a like, subscribe and click the bell to get notified of a new video coming every Sunday. Soon we'll get to more fun activities at Building Vilda, such as seeing her in white and installing the cool boat parts. Stay tuned! <laughs>